The digital age has brought with it many advantages, but rising electronic consumption, coupled with decreasing product lifespans, has led to a significant increase in global e-waste. And some of Africa's poorer countries are fast becoming dumping grounds for the world's electronic waste. And it's no surprise that the continent is expected to generate more e-waste than Europe by 2017. CNBC Africa's uh, Candice Cupido reports. Information is considered the pulse driving humanity, but a hunger for information technology and a limited capacity to manufacture it has seen Africa become the world's largest destination for obsolete electronic equipment. One of the problems with e-waste is it's a fastest growing waste stream. By volume it's currently the smallest, but it's the fastest growing because if you just think about electronics, we use it at home, we use it in our business, our children use electronic toys, therefore that becomes the problem. That's why we need to deal with it now. The average person generates between 12 and 17 kilograms of e-waste per annum. And if you just take our, our population in Africa and you multiply that, and our standards of living are rising all the time, so therefore the problem is going to become larger. In order to keep up with the fast pace of ICT infrastructure development, the storage rather than the disposal or reuse of old technology, is a crucial factor shaping the e-waste landscape in South Africa. And Africa needs to embrace ICT in order to develop. But going with that, of course, is a challenge that will arise out of the electronic waste that is generated by that. For Africa at this point in time, we are simply talking about a penetration of 5.7% uh, for the ICT into our countries. Essentially, we are only just at the beginning. So this is going to be a massively growing challenge for Africa in the years to come. Low recycling rates and illegal transboundary movements continue to fuel the proliferation of electronic landfills. Well, it's true that we aren't doing it as well as we can. Um, right now, and it hurts me to say this, but there's not one e-waste recycler that meets international WE standards. But we are certainly making progress, and every year we see the standards being raised. But the problem is because it's not legislated and it's not mandatory for people, they tend to follow the path of least resistance, and they'll only extract those items and those uh, uh, um, uh, bits of materials that have got value. And the balance either goes to landfill or it goes to incineration. South Africa ratified the Basel Convention in 1994, which restricts the movement of hazardous waste from developed to developing countries. The country has not, however, endorsed the Bamako Convention, which bans the import of hazardous waste. One of the things that concern us, uh, and we need to look at this very closely, is um, the possibility that there would be duplication uh, in responsibilities and activities uh, for the Bamako Convention as well as the Basel Convention. We have not said as a country that we will not ratify Bamako. We want to make sure that as we make that decision, we are very aware of the consequences of making that decision. South Africa's new National Environmental Management Waste Act implemented in 2008, effectively places the onus on industry to develop an e-waste management system. While the Act addresses some of the key issues, it needs to be developed further. It is a very comprehensive legislation, but essentially it's a framework law. Uh, it needs to be broken down into very specific components so that it can respond appropriately or adequately to the challenges that arise out of specific sectors. The government have decided for whatever the reasons that areas like lighting is a priority waste and certainly are the other landfill problems, but they haven't determined e-waste. While industry players want faster change, government believes that it is dealing with the problem effectively. I think what I need to just indicate is that e-waste is a new waste stream. It is rapidly growing and I think with the rise of the information age and with uh, an increase in consumerism, you are going to see an exponential growth in e-waste. Um, it is a priority, not in the sense that the act defines priority waste. While government and thought leaders grapple to deal with the increased problem of electronic landfill, the consumer appetite for the latest technology and gadgets continue unabated. Candice Cupido, Johannesburg.